Hi everybody, this is uh, Mel from Me by Mel Crafts. Uh, I just want to start off with doing uh, my first video. I'm new at this, so before I say anything, um, try to I'll try to be as uh, straight as I can with this camera, but I'm new at it, so just keep that in mind. So anyway, this is just going to be a quick video of my scrapbook room, my craft area. Um, I'm lucky enough to have my husband when we were looking for houses actually that was one of the requirements to make sure there was a room for that um, so this over time I put little by little together it still has more to go but I'll give you a quick idea so first I'll start off with this is my embellishment shelf I actually got um, the shelf and I painted it it was a regular wood color and then these are all paper tray um, ink buttons let me try to bring it up slow um, these are all the button, you know, my colors and stuff like that. So I will mount out in these little drawers I got from Ikea that they fit the buttons perfectly and just some other things I've made. And this is, I'll come back slow, this is the shelf that my husband got me and I was so excited. Um, and the little bas baskets from Ikea because it just frames out. They're nice and thin, but yet they, you know, he got me all the baskets that I like in there. Um, but they, it holds a lot, but it's thin to the wall, so it doesn't take up too much space in there. And then I just decorated everything. Um, that's my wedding scrapbook that I'm still working on, but um, I have some, a few pages completed. And just some little shelf, shelving I put up, um, a little heart table. So this is right when you first walk into my room. Um, so I have those baskets there and that. Um, and I'll give you another view. Um, this is my scrapbooking area. Um, just give you a little view all the way around here. This is my little cabinet that I did have my cuddle bug things on there. And I just cut out, the letters up there are cut out, not with the Cricut, it's with um, a stencil that I had. So I did that and I like the way that came out. So this is a place I just kind of put any of my latest projects. I used to have my cuddle bug and my paper trimmer up here, but I decided to move that elsewhere. Um, so that's just a little, this is just a little cabinet. Um, then to the right here, I have a little paper station, which I'm still working on the frames up there. But here's, um, these are just the cubes from Target and you make, you know, you make it with the zip ties. You make your own rows, big sections as you like. Um, so that's what I did and built my own, you know, so it's, this was actually a closet. This room has, you know, the weird ceilings. <clears throat> so, you know, just try to make do with what you have. That I needed, don't worry about that there. I have to clean that out. But I just did a little, I just hung a little ribbon off to like little cup hooks. And then I just, that's where I displayed some cards because you end up with a lot of them. This is my daughter's little area um, I made for her. I'm still working on that. Say hi, Maya. <laughs> She's got a little crazy here today, so don't mind her. But that's her little area that right now I have my paper trimmer on that she works and you know, we put in. That actually was another closet, one of the weird closets here. Some and she's eating some chicken. Um, so now let's get back to over here. Um, here is my ribbon station that I made. I built this so you can just take, um, let me see if I can zoom in for you, that you can just take off take the ribbon out without it being stuck on a rod because I had something in it differently before but it wasn't able to quick like easy access it. Here are my rubber stamps. Now this is a really cheap, I just want to show you this inexpensive way to um, to display your rubber stamps if you're like me you have a million of them. So these are a lot of like little dollar stamps. A lot of them I got for um, 50 cents or less um, but then some stamping up ones on there. But anyway, to, in order to store these, I wanted them out to where I could see them. So what I did was I got, all these are is, they're in Home Depot, and I think they're like for fencing. They're just, see the, the bottom, it's just the wood blocks, and I got four of them, and then I painted them white along with um, the holders on the side, like it's like a little bracket, which I think is for like piping. So I got it at my local hardware store and just hung them up there, and I think it costs less than $2 for each because um, it was 99 cents for that wood and I just had to paint it which I had um, uh, 99 cents spray paint from Walmart that I got and I spray painted them all um, uh, a can did two of them where you have plenty of coats um, on it so you probably would need two cans to do four rows like I do but I had so many that I wanted to fill it in so it just kind of fills up that space and that keeps them out where I can see them because here's where I sit at my chair and I can just kind of do, you know, my work there and just see real quick, do I need a birthday stamp or whatever I need. Now this over here, let me move my chair out of the way. Um, this right here is a little 
Um, I actually got that at a garage sale. This little paper rack, I guess it's probably for a teacher or something. But it works perfectly for my 8.5 by 11 um, paper. So I just kind of sort it by color. There's some, you know, bright orange, light orange. I just kind of separate it, and that's great for when I'm quick doing my Cricut cuts. And, you know, I need something quick. Um, here's my ATG stand. It's decorated in the front. I can't reach it to turn around to show you. There's my Cricut. And this, this is my little area that I have, you know, some punches with an Ikea rail. Um, and just some things that I need, you know, right there while I'm working. This is my carousel I have close to me that I do, you know, my work on. I, of course, I had to decorate that up. Um, this is my top. This is the top of my desk. Um, I just keep all my stickles and latest products. I have my little radio and, you know, my magazines, things like that. Some I worked on. Um, some Martha Stewart flock, things like that. And just some, just some cards and things that I've made. Um, lots of cabinets. My. Um, sorry, I'm trying to keep my daughter out of the way for one minute. Um, this is what I have a little, you know, it's just a little box, but it actually happened to work perfectly under this little space where I store all my um, Stampin' Up! ink and then some punches and things like that. I have a little area over there. And then under my desk, I have all types of stuff. A little TV for my daughter. It's just more shelving that holds my acrylic paints, things like that. And real quick, last thing is this is how I store my Cricut cartridges. Um, it's similar to a, um, what are they called, the clip it ups, but this was actually, um, this is actually, I got an idea from somebody on YouTube and I can't remember her name, but she, it's, a, what it is, is like a foot rack, a shoe rack from Walmart and it's $19.99 and actually has three tiers, but I cut it down to two and, you know, and it works perfectly. It was a lot less inexpensive and then these little clips here are from, um, the jewelry section of Joann's. I think they have something to do with beading. You can find them in there and it's like a 24 pack for $3.99 and then you can use the coupon. So I just got a bunch of those. I might even have a bag. There was a bag of them up here, but um, I don't see them any longer. So I, what I did was I got them all in these bags and you can get these bags there. I'll have to find out the sizes, but um, there you can order them on eBay, a lot of different places that hold the cartridge, the handbook, and um, the light, the overlay. And then you just print out all the things. And this, this has been a lifesaver. It just keeps me organized. And I just have everything. And I still have to do some more prints because I've gotten more cartridges since I printed all these out. Um, yes, I have a lot of cartridges. I, I think there's about 80 now, but I get them as birthday gifts and things like that. So it's a way to build your collection. Um, but yeah, that's that, and that's how they're stored on there, and that's been working really well, and I can just quick put them away in the bag and find them when I need them. I have them in somewhat alphabetical order, but they're not, you know, it's not crazy. It's just all the W's together, all the M's together, blah, 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 and that's been working out. Oh, and on here, these are actually the bottom of the planner hooks um, not the, to hold around the bottom of a pot. And I also saw that, you know, the same woman on YouTube. I'll try to find out what that was because it's been over a year. But this is um, a little clear basket that you can have. It's optional. You don't even have to have the, anything in the basket, but just to utilize the two rows. Then there's a basket in here that I just kind of, you know, I have to lower this up so I can get to it. But just, you know, just keep little things in there and just adds for more storage because you know we all need that. But anyway, that's a quick video. Um, thanks for watching, and there'll be more to come. Bye.